Hi, I'm Vicki Smith. Along with Hayati Mode Ezan, I've made a tutorial on how to build the HUD in UDK using Scaleform. For brevity's sake and for my sanity, I am going to assume that you have watched the tutorials on how to create a menu using Scaleform. If not, I really recommend you go back and do so. At least you are going to need to watch the tutorial on how to set up a test level in UDK and how to configure your flash. In this first tutorial, we're going to concentrate on setting up a build environment using Visual Studios for Unreal Script. A lot of you obviously have probably already done this. If so, you can go ahead and skip on to the next video. Uh, all the same, this has to be done. Obviously, I am also assuming that you have Flash to, uh, Professional CS5 and uh, the latest version, uh, at least previous to May 2010 of UDK. In addition, I'm sort of assuming that you have got several pieces of software installed. First of all, you have to have uh, Visual Studios, uh, possibly 2008 Express or 2010. If you have videos, uh, Microsoft Visual Studios 2008, what you're go going to need to have to do is you're going to have to um, downstall, uh, sorry, you're going to have to install the shell. Uh, that will allow you to run Visual Studio's 2008 Professional. This one here, you are going to need to install NFRAPS. Uh, there's lots of tutorials on how to do that on the web. And you are going to have to install um, .NET, probably. Okay, if you have all of the proper uh, software installed, what we can do is go into Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. Notice that it is the shell version in my case. If you have Visual Studio 2010, you don't need the shell. Uh, the shell takes a long time to install, by the way, just so you know. We're going to open a new project. We're going to make sure that it is the project type Unreal Script and an Unreal Script game mod. We're going to name it SF for scale form tutorial. We're going to make sure that it is located in our UDK folder in development source. Uh, make sure you uncheck create directory for solution. This should not be checked. Okay, once you have created your new project, we're going to need to set it up for Unreal Script. So go to your solution explorer over here, find SF Tutorial, the name of your project, right click on it go down to properties that will open up a window with four different tabs. Go to general first. We're going to set the target game to Unreal Engine 3 mod. That's so that we get all of the resources in the game. Set the UCC path to your binary. So find that UDK uh, base directory, go into binaries, and then search for UDK.exe. Then we need to set the reference source path. That's where it's going to find those references. So find that base directory again. UDK, UDK 2010, development, and SRC. Click on OK, and then you have these two set up. Go to the build tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom, check manually set UCC output directory. We're going to once again browse to that same general place. UDK 2010. Now go into UDK game. Find the directory named script. Select that and hit OK. This is where the compiler will put all of your scripts once they are written. Then go into the debug folder. We want to, uh, whenever we make a change in Unreal Script, we're going to want to see what happens in game. So we're going to set this once again to the udk.exe file in binaries. Uh, we do want to load a map at startups. If you were with me in the menus tutorial, we created a test map called SF for scale form tutorial. 
We are going to want to start with a spe specified game type, which we are going to be creating in just a moment. That's going to be called SF Tutorial dot SF Tutorial Info I N F O. It's unfortunately that, uh, that the lower L and the capital I look exactly the same, but that's fine. I like to see a log, so I'm going to open log window, but I'm not going to worry too much about the position and we're going to be done with that setup. Okay, having done that, we're going to close out of Visual Studios and we're going to start editing some configuration files.